Hello, it's Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news. Today's a big week. Full self-driving 14 is gonna be going into wide release and I just wanted to give everybody an update on what to expect and why this is so exciting. So Elon posted late last week that this week, version 14 would be going into wide release. This is like the SFD full self-driving that will theoretically become unsupervised, maybe? By the end of the year, in certain places, we'll see. Every uh, Elon promises this every year, and I'm pretty confident that this year is not going to be that year, but it'll be very close. He says by the end of the year, it'll feel sentient. So version 14 is going to come out this week, probably the last day of the week, giving history. <laughs> or uh, And then version 14.1 will come out in a couple more weeks, and then version 14.2 will come out in mid to late October. And... It's probably just gonna, they're gonna be doing more bug fixes and refining. I don't know if that's enough time to retrain the model uh, for the AI, but we'll see. What are the things that we can expect? The key features, what's such a big deal? Well, it's gonna be a 10 times larger neural network. So it's just gonna be a lot smarter. There's also some really big optimizations that they're doing in terms of the frame rate. It's gonna be 48 frames per second. And it's also gonna have potentially two to 10 times safer than a human capability in driving, there's gonna be reduced nagging and monitoring. So now when you're driving hands-free, you can actually theoretically look away for a minute to check on you know navigation or other things. Cause right now it's super picky. If you're staring at the, the side screen for any amount of time, it'll you know start flashing at you and have you take over. And if you do it on, enough, it'll actually disable it and give you a strike. One of the good things is that they lessen the amount of jail time <laughs> or the forgiveness period from a week just to like three days. So if you do end up in that period where it's disabled, you can get back uh, to using it in a much quicker time. Parking lot navigation is gonna be a major upgrade. So like lower speed maneuvers, potholes avoidance and object detection, there's gonna be some pretty big improvements in those areas. There was a video out last week of some YouTubers trying to drive cross country, 100% FSD, and of course, like, I think it was 90 miles in, they ran into some road debris and damaged their Tesla. So luckily nobody got hurt and uh, most of it was, I guess, covered. Uh, so they weren't out of a lot of money, but still they thought it was roadkill. So they didn't take over in time. Honestly, looking at the video, I might have been in the same boat. Like, oh, it's just a tire in the road and would have tried to run over it myself because it, it just looked like a black dot and it was higher and it bottomed out the Model Y. What do you guys think? Have you seen the video? What's your thoughts? Do you think there were fools for, you know, trying to trust the SFD or should they have taken over and swerved into oncoming traffic or <laughs> hit the brakes and tried to go around it the other way? It didn't look like there was much room. Anyway, smoother interventions on this new version 14, better handling of edge cases, complex intersections and uh, other fine tuning of the neural net. There's going to be a Cybertruck specific edition. So that's going to be improvements in reverse. Uh, yay, because we don't have reverse right now in FSD. Uh, unpark, which we also don't have. And the FSD start button integration. So you can just get in and hit start. Put in your, where you're going to go or if it already knows. If you're at home, it'll go to work and vice versa. Yay, even though it's been on the newer hardware 4, it has been lagging behind from the other Teslas, mainly because it, it's probably, you know, a totally separate branch because the profile of the vehicle is significantly different. The cameras are, you know, in further apart, different areas, and the rear steering is a little bit different to account for and the steer by wire. There, it's interesting that there's been early testers, but there's no been full, no full release notes just yet. Yeah, but I'm sure they'll be really, they'll be leaking soon. <laughs> if not, we'll see. I will definitely be posting a video to try this out as soon as it's available. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below what you guys think. It's pretty exciting times. It's been, geez, almost 10 years that they've been promising something like this. And maybe this is going to be the first glimpse of it, like truly being good enough. This is the wide release of the tweaks they've been doing based on the CyberCab development. So over in Austin there, they've been having it operate with no safety driver in the driver's seat. 
just kind of like an emergency stop in the passenger seat. And they also have tele operators to take over in these edge cases. So at what point will they not need the tele operators? Probably never, but the amount of tele operators and the amount of interventions that they're going to have to do are going to become lower with time. It was also interesting that they put extra telematics on these robo taxi versions of the Teslas to help with that so they can have better real time interaction and control of the vehicles. So we're seeing uh, LTE be upgraded to 5G on Teslas, which would help with that significantly. And they may limit the rollout to areas that have really good 5G coverage. Also, Starlink once the constellation's out there, it works with existing phones. So when there's enough Starlink satellites with the capability to go directly to phones, they'll also work directly with all the existing fleet of Teslas. So I imagine once that gets better, that's when they'll open it up more wide, more widely into the remote areas. I also saw in the news that they're working with a uh, Wyoming delegation doing unsupervised robo taxis in Wyoming. They're, they're working on it. It's in the plans. It's coming soon. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on the RoboTaxi event, I highly recommend checking it out. It was, you know, a good proof of concept that worked really well. They just got to scale it out there to the real world. Thank you again for watching and making it this far into the video. We'll post again soon. Thank you. Bye.